Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi, this is Norman. Um, he's a miniature dachshund. I got him about a year ago. He turned a year old in March. My puppy's name is Freddy. This is Tandy. She is a British Yellow Lab, so she's a little bit smaller than um, American Labs. I got my first dog when I was five years old, I think. And she's still around. We still have her, and we've gotten one more dog since then. We've always grown up with cats in my house, and I love my cats, but they are very independent, and I knew I wanted something that was very dependent on me, and so I've been looking into getting an emotional support animal for probably about a year and a half. I had been with two or three therapists before that thought that it might be a good idea, but I was either not old enough at the time because I would be living at home and my mom did not want another animal in the house. I broached the topic to my parents, didn't think it was possible because service dogs are ridiculously expensive and we just didn't have the money, but my parents said, hey, like, your health is more important than money, we'll make it work. So the word research is an understatement. My mom did not actually believe that there were types of, well he's not exactly a service dog, but that there were like animal companions for people with mental illness and she was kind of like, that's not real. And I was like, yes it is, watch. <laughs> well I knew, uh, I had known that my friend was getting a guide dog uh, the summer of 2013, which would have been after my freshman year of college. And so I started researching it then just because I was curious. Um, just different kinds of service dogs because I think they're really interesting. And then it wasn't until after um, I had a really rough couple weeks my junior year that I started researching seriously like places to get psychiatric service dogs. Um, one of the things that I personally struggled with and that he's helped me with is it's very easy for me with an anxiety disorder to wake up in the morning, feel overwhelmed by absolutely nothing even, and say, I'm just not going to do anything today. I have suffered from anxiety and depression for, feels like forever, but for a really long time, since the beginning of high school. I actually took medical leave spring of my sophomore year. Before I was kind of a hermit, stayed in bed a lot, didn't leave much. When you have severe depression, there are days where you just can't get out of bed, you just don't you can't, there's no motivation to do anything. But when you have a dog who needs to like go to the bathroom and needs to eat, um, he kind of gets you out of the bed in the morning. I love her so much that I couldn't put her through that. She has to go outside, she has to go potty, and she has to get a walk and like play, especially since she's so young. It's important for her um, well-being, and so for that reason, you know, that helps me get out of bed. And once you're already up, it's kind of like, well, okay, I might as well do this, this, and this. I make more responsible choices. So if there's a big party on Saturday night, I might go for a couple hours but come back around 1. Whereas before, I could have stayed out till 10 a.m. the next day. And it kind of keeps you on a schedule. Like I have times that I walk them during the day and I can work around that. Even taking care of her, I, it's a joy to take care of her. I love everything about it. I love giving her baths and playing with her. and. Um, I love watching her discover the world because she is a baby, so it's, it's cool. So I definitely think it's been helping with my overall lifestyle and my priorities. A lot of my problems are gone. I don't really get panic attacks anymore. My anxiety is lessened a lot. Depression is almost non-existent, which is huge for me. I have more self-worth knowing that someone is relying on me every day. Just being alone, like you're never actually by yourself.